Do you like fish sandwiches? Because I do. Because today we're going to make the most epic fish sandwich. I'm your host, Chef Young Nick Young. This is Sandwich God. Let's go. Alright, so we got two different kinds of fish for our fish sandwich. So I got some really nice rockfish, which is a white fish. And then I got some really nice halibut, which if you all know what halibut is, I, don't, I really don't know what to tell you anymore because everyone knows what halibut is. It's like salmon and halibut are the two fish that the whole world knows. Anywho, so halibut here is our white fish as well. So the one thing with the rockfish is you want to be careful because it does have little bones in it. So you want to make sure you rub your fingers across so there's a little bone right here. So you can do it with your fingers or you can cut it out. So I'm just going to do it with my fingers because they're not too bad. And then we're good to go on that one. Let's check out this guy. A couple little ones right there. Just pull that out. Pull that out. And if it's too like too hard for you to pull out with your fingers, you can just grab a pair of like needle nose pliers if you have some. Or if you're a baller, you have the the uh, deboning uh, tweezers for the ballers out there. I have those, but I don't think we're gonna need them today. So that guy's done. So we're just gonna do medium size cuts. Clean off a little bit of that right there. Don't want that. And then we're just gonna do medium dice. See, it's a nice texture. That's gonna go into our bowl. Same thing, we're just gonna clip a little bit of this off right here. You don't want that. What is that? That is just a little piece of the dorsal. So it's like, you can eat it, it's not gonna hurt anything, but it's just the old habit to make sure everything is cleaned up properly for, um, I don't wanna say for service, <laughs> but it's cleaned up for um, whenever you're at a restaurant. So you have those nice pieces, of those nice fillets, those nice cuts from all my, my kitchen folk out there. So halibut here, we're gonna take just a little bit of this guy off right here, and this is just the leftover residual skin that connects the skin to the flesh. So this is the skin up top like that. So we're just gonna do a quick little run over like that, nothing too crazy, because you don't wanna gouge it a little bit. So I'll just take a little bit off right there. Same thing here, and then we're good to go. So we're just gonna run it down just like that right there. And then same thing before, medium dice. And then we're gonna add that to that. So we have some nice chunks of pescado. Spanish for fish if y'all don't know. Let's go. So we have our two fish, rockfish and halibut in a bowl. We're gonna do a little bit of s &P and a little bit of paprika for our seasoning on these guys. You don't, have to go, you don't have to go crazy because we're also gonna season our flour. We're gonna do a quick little seasoned flour and then they're gonna get all nice and fried up and crispy. Crispy. So s &P, this is about uh, two tablespoons of paprika for a nice color. You can use smoked paprika, you can use regular paprika, you can use paprika so some salt you don't want to go too crazy because we're going to bread it with salt too and then we're just going to give it a mix and there she is boom on to the next You're not really washing your hands, do the people like to say, you have been washing your hands? Nah, I just rinse, rinse. Alright, so I'll cut that out. Good. Alright, uh, I'm trying to give a little time to go by so I can cut it right. It's good. Action. So here, AP flour, we're going to do salt, pepper, a little bit of paprika as well. So you're going to want to go a little bit heavier on the seasoning for this guy, because you want it to get up all, in, all up in that good flour. So, pepper. Just 
salt. And then just a splish splash of paprika for color. And then we're just gonna give it a little mix. And that's it. You can always add more to your preference. If you want more paprika, you want to add some onion powder, garlic powder, you're more than welcome to, but I like to keep it simple so you can taste everything nice and fresca. There you go. So we're gonna take our fish, going straight into our flour. Mixed up. Make sure they're all nice and covered. And some people like to bread it, do it in buttermilk, all that stuff like that. I don't necessarily like it for this recipe, but um, whenever I do catfish or any kind of bottom feeding fish, absolutely, because that buttermilk adds a lot of flavor and you don't get like that, that muddy, murky flavor. So there you have it. That is your fish boats. And we're gonna go to frying up. Let's go. All right, so we have our makeshift fryer right here. We got canola oil, about three quarters up. And uh, we brought it up to about 325. Um, you can do higher than that, but you don't want that because you can catch fire and it'll smoke. Or you can go a little bit lower, do like 300, but then you won't get the crisp that you want. So 375 is usually the best spot. So we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and just drop these guys in. You don't want to crowd the pan, so we're just going to do them in batches. A couple more will do. So we have our ingredients for our homemade tata sauce. Mayo, red wine vinegar, capers, fresh dill, some shallot. If you don't have shallot, you can always use red onion. I prefer shallot, it has a little bit more flavor than the red onion, but like I said, red onion would be just fine. So we're just gonna peel this bad boy up and do a small, 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 small dice brunoise, as you want to call it. So we're just gonna go straight up and down like that. And then we're just gonna run just like that. Simple, very, very simple. So same thing as before, but this time we're gonna go like this go across and then we're gonna go up and down the reason why I do this is so I get nice uniform cuts because if you just chop it up which is just fine you're gonna have inconsistent cuts and you don't want inconsistent cuts you want to have everything look tight and nice for your tata sauce so then we come through again like that give it a quick little rundown and this little guy will just And there she is, straight into our bowls here. Next we're going to fresh dill. So we're just gonna pick a couple little sprigies off of there. Just like that. Get a nice rough chopped dill, it's probably one of the best herbs on the planet. I like it a lot. It's good with pretty much anything fish related. Caper sauce, lemon butter sauce, poaching, whatever you want to do. Dill is usually your best go-to for the flavor. So we're going to do a little rough chop like that. Boom, boom. Straight into the bowl. Give it a quick little wipe down. And then we're going to go into our capers. So we have our capers here in the juice, in the brine. You want to get them in the brine, in the juice, because we're going to use that for flavor as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to go in. A little bit of capers there. Get that little bit of juice. We'll sop that up real quick. And then we're going to use what's in the bottle for our tata. So rough little chop. You can put as much capers as you want. I usually do about two tablespoons. Of capers. Actually, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of capers, not tablespoons. 
just do a quick little run. And that's it. And they go straight in. Boom. Now we'll go into our mayonnaise. So this is what we're looking like right now. We've got dill, shallot, capers. We're gonna go ahead and add our mayo right now. So we're gonna do about three of these dice sizes. Two. And then we're gonna go three and a half. There we go. So then we're gonna give it a little mix. So you always wanna do, at least for me, I always do my dry stuff first or dry-esque stuff first and then I always add my liquid too afterwards and that goes with making doughs, making pasta, basically anything. So that's what we're looking for right there, nice and pretty. So then we're going to add some red wine then. This is going to be about two tablespoons or two teaspoons as well. Give that a little mix. Salt, black pepper. And like I said, you can always do this stuff to taste because it is what it is. It's all about preference. I like a little bit more pepper than most. Not so much on the salt game because you always got capers in there already. So it's going to have plenty of salt for you. Hit it like that. And there you go. Beautiful homemade tartar sauce. And I always do a little splash of hot sauce too as well, but I'll do that later. Action. All right, so we got beautiful head of cabbage, lemon, lime, lemon, lime, lime, lemon. It's the real deal. So <laughs> this is what we got here. So we're gonna go ahead and just give this guy a half. This is gonna be our crispiness for our fish sandwich. Only gonna need about a quarter of this guy for me. For you, maybe more, depending on how many sandwiches you're making. So I'm just gonna pop that off. Let that go, pull off the first couple outer layers of leaves. And then if you ever wanna make uh, lettuce wraps or anything like that, you can always use these two as well, bomb.com. So we're gonna give it a little halfer. And then we're not gonna go too thin, but we're not gonna go super thick. Cause you want it to still be crispy, but then you don't want it to be too big or it's just hard to chew. So you're looking for about that right there. And then we're gonna go into the bowl. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we're gonna go just a little bit more of this guy. And then we'll save that other piece. So that's that right there. And then the beauty of the whole thing is we're literally gonna do salt and pepper, lemon juice, lime juice. That's it for a little bit of acid for our fish. Give that a little wipey wipey. So we gotta cut our lime in half. Just give it a nice little squeeze. Yeah, get all that good juicy juicy. Juicy fruit, it's so juicy when you squeeze it. Yeah, baby. Get our lime lemon. And if you put the seeds in here, it's okay because you can always just pick them out afterwards. It's not a big deal. It's not going to be a life or death type of thing. If you do have a squeezer, recommend using it. I don't at this moment in time, so I'm just going to use my fingers. My fingers. Come here, baby. It's that last little one. Cool beans. So there we go. A little salt, a little pepper. And we're gonna leave this guy out so it can come up to room temperature and be nice and delicioso. Pepper. Salt. That's it. Give it a little, little toss toss. That's it. 
So, we have all our ingredients. So our fish came out, and I always hit it with a little bit of lime to get that extra flavor. And then, I always add a little bit of salt. I already added salt to mine, so it's all good. But we have our tomato, we have our hoagie, untoasted. We have our slaw, our tartar sauce that's been sitting out for about four to five minutes because you want to get it nice and incorporated, and hot sauce. So, here we go. First, we're gonna do a little slice down the middle. Not going all the way through, because we want to create a little pita pocket. And we're gonna pull out just a smidge of bread, because it's gonna be worth it, I promise you. There we go. A couple slices of tomato, nice and thin-like. I think four should be good. Bang, bang. Then we're gonna go straight into our tata. Just smother the living shit out of it because that's how much tartar sauce I love for my fish sandwiches. Just as much as I can fit in here. Oh, baby. Looking like a spring chicken that I'm about to eat. You're not even a chicken, you're a fish. So, tartar, bang, bang. Do a sliced tomato, sliced tomato, sliced tomato, sliced tomato. And then we go into our fish. So I'll do that. I'm gonna eat that. And we'll just pile it in. pockets that you hollowed out. Can't forget our lovely hot sauce. Bang, bang, bang. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna finish off with our slaw. It's hard to talk and explain how good it is because all you want to do is eat it. I've been making this sandwich for like two hours. Delicious. Delicious. The tartar sauce, the crispy from the cabbage, thin slices of tomato, some vinegar from the hot sauce, lemon, lime. You can't beat it, man. Fish sandwich. Sandwich God. Chef Young, Nick Young. Subscribe at the bottom, you know the deal. Till next time, folks.